First off, huge fan of your award-winning character-driven war movies. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about making one that's so intense it'll give the audience PTSD? Get ready for the best elevator pitch ever given in an elevator. Picture this. An elite spec ops team. They're fucking lighting up the undead on a dilapidated bridge. They're isolated, surrounded by water, but they give no fucks because they're the best. Yeah, we fucking rock! Eat shit, zombie scum! Killing zombies? Yeah, they can do that all day. With the right support, of course. But sometimes, support fucks up. Supporting. Oops. You guys dropped us on the wrong side! I'll send my guys ahead! We're gonna need ammo! What happens when the bullets run dry and mission annihilation turns into mission survival I Only way we're gonna live is by surviving! Hmm, a war where the enemy's already dead. That's half interesting. Our hero has to get to the ammo drop. Or else they die and become the enemy. Okay, okay, yeah, I'm seeing this. Imagine the 405 and the 101 fucked each other. This bridge would be the offspring. So it's moving backwards. So our hero goes by the corpse of a squad mate. Next to him is a sweet ass weapon. You're focusing on the weapon and not the fallen comrade? <laughs> oh, our hero knew this guy would be the first to go. So the heroes at the source of the zombie outbreak. No humans around, right? No dialogue, just a zombie massacre. Just a zombie massacre? <laughs> There's these mutation stations and goo and mayhem. It's a road of fire, baby! But what does this mean to the hero? Uh, the fire represents the, the, their anger issues. It's, instead of dealing with it, they're, they're avoiding it. Okay. Okay, so then there's a flipped train. <gasps> Way 
wait a minute. It's on as a fucking flip gas tanker. <laughs> the, the explosion will make people shit themselves. <laughs> Is there a way to show something about the main character? We are. They know how to explode things. The hero's got to find a way down. If you were to put the story beats on a graph, this would be the low point in the movie and <laughs> the bridge. In my career. You say something? Nope. Now, the hero finds themselves with literally nowhere to go. Literally. Maybe we can hear the hero's inner monologue. There's despair, loss. Or they can just use a cool grappling hook. And our hero sees a giant cage. What was in it? Maybe the cage can remind the hero of their time as a prisoner of war. Sure, and the zombies here represent, I, I, I don't know, the, the, the people they saw die. Interesting. Right here, the hero sees that a zombie has turned their buddy into an all-you-can-eat buffet. And how does this make the character feel? Uh, hopefully, grows the fuck out. <laughs> So the hero has to cut through a homeless hideout inside the bridge. Zombies are there having a freaking zombie feast. What are you trying to say here about the homeless issue? Uh, that homelessness is is bad. Really going out on a limb with that, huh? Good luck. Homelessness is a real important issue for me. I want everyone in the world to have a home and a shelf filled with Blu-rays of all the movies I make. And then the main character gets to the ammo drop, and there's dun, 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 ah! <laughs> a new gun! One more character? How about a fucking zombie Sasquatch character? Boom! Plot twist! Ha! <laughs> In your bite your face, zombie! The Sasquatch is fucking toast! <laughs> That's cool, right? It ends on a duel with a monster. No! Our hero sees a way out. What's that? More zombies! All right!
explosion here, explosion there. So, the hero sees a checkpoint. It's the end. Or is it? What does our hero find at the end? Another soldier who sees our hero as just another zombie. Bam! Headshot! Roll credits. I'm gonna pass. Seems heavy on the action and light on character development. Speaking of development, huh? How about a development deal? How about you leave now and I won't press charges?